my name is Scott for SP Gaming. We're back here in Her Story, and where we left off, we had last done a search for friend, and that brought up five entries here. And I do have a bunch of other terms we could potentially search for. I did sort out my list a little bit and remove the ones that we have actually taken a look at, at least some of them. I know that there's probably a few duplicates in my list, but uh, it is what it is. We had done a search for mother and mum, but I don't think we've done a search for specifically dad. So there's 10 entries found for dad. We've not seen these for third and fourth clips. We have seen these ones here. So let's take a look at this 36 second clip. Thing was wrong. The bags, I, I think they were from our kitchen. You can probably check that. We never go into the cellar. It's just a place we put things we don't need. Dad used to grow mushrooms there. The, the bags were taped up. I think it was parcel tape, but I think it was ours. Well, um, seller, yeah, seller is on the list. Might as well add it to the list uh, again, just so that, uh, yeah. Seller, mushrooms, uh, what else was there? What else was there? The whole thing was wrong. The whole thing was wrong. The bags, I... I think they were from our kitchen. You can probably check that. We never go into the cellar. It's just a place we put. Dad used to grow mushrooms there. The bags were taped up. I think it was parcel tape. But... Okay. Um, other than what we've already searched for, I think that is probably. If I haven't done a search for cellar, might as well do a search for cellar. Uh, let's take a look at this 18 second clip. No, they were shut. Most of the windows were really hard to open anyway. They're stifling in summer. They were painted over by my dad. Could have left a door open accidentally. Oh, there's a cat flap in the back door. Really? No, they were shut. They were shut. Most of the windows were really hard to open anyway. They're stifling in summer. They were painted over by my dad. Could have left a door open accidentally. Oh, there's a cat flap in the back door. He... What? <laughs> he... I have no idea what this uh, interview is in relation to, what she's asking about. Because their parents had died back in 84, and... No, they were, they were shut. shut. Yeah. Most of the windows were really hard to open anyway. They're stifling in summer. They were painted over by my dad. Could have left a door open accidentally. Oh. Could have There's a cat flap in the back door. Is she suggesting or implying that someone slipped in? Oh, probably in relation to uh, Simon's death. No, they were shut. Most of the windows were really hard to open anyway. They're stifling in summer. They were painted over by my dad. Could have left a door open accidentally. Oh. Simon could have left the, the back door. door accidentally. <laughs> it was a cat murderer. <laughs> the cat slipped through the cat flap. Yeah, that would make sense. They were asking if uh, it was possible for anyone to get into the house to obviously kill Simon. And most of the windows would have been shut. They had been locked or not been able to be open because they were painted over and all that other stuff. So about that. So we've seen those clips there. I think Cat is on the list. <laughs> 
but uh, yeah, about that. So what I'm going to do next is a search for knife. There's only two times she's used the word knife. I'm also going to use the word kitchen. We have six entries found. We've seen all but one of them of this 13 second clip. We refresh that. Things are coming together. Bruce. Oh yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen and the chair slipped and I kind of hit the door with my face. We really had like hell. <laughs> <laughs> um, she has a She doesn't have a bruise here. She has a bruise there. When would he have... Actually, when... He was discovered around the 25th, 26th. 26th or 27th, I think. This day. She had a bruise about a week before. Or no, actually, that was just a couple days. Of course, the first interview, this is actually Eve because she has her long, the long hair. This is Hannah. Eve ended up coming in for the first interview. Hannah was probably really, really distraught after obviously killing Simon. And uh, Eve was a little bit more composed. And then, uh, of course, a week later, Hannah comes in with a, a bruise, obviously uh, after having been hit by Simon. But uh, of course the police have no idea about it, but uh, yeah. Bruce. Oh, yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen, yeah, I... the chair slipped, and I kind of hit the door with my face. We had like hell. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce is a term I think I might search for as well, although it's not on today's list of terms that I'd like to search for. So that was kitchen, and we have seen all the other ones. You know what? Bruise. Five entries here, and yeah, this was on the 27th. Of course, she doesn't have the bruise here. Uh, when was the? I think it's she. She's only. These were the only two interviews that Hannah actually appeared at, I think. All other interviews, it was Eve. Of course, Eve was probably the only one who could uh, keep the story straight. Anyway, let's take a look at this 22 second clip. The bruise. Thank you. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you that I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. I... <laughs> oh yeah. Was it this clip? The bruise is on her left face? Bruise. Le or left side of the face? Oh yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen yep, this and the chair slipped and I kind of hit the door. Left side of her face and this clip. The bruise. Bruise on her right side of the face. I have a really fast metabolism so stuff like that just comes and goes. <laughs> yeah, the police were like, I don't know if that's where did your bruise go? I and she had to obviously cover up the fact that uh, I found the body. she doesn't actually have the bruise, it was I Hannah. Know. Police obviously don't suspect that Eve and Hannah are two people. And uh, I do have to wonder why they dress so, so differently. Or not, not dress, but to keep their hair so differently. Because she has a certain appearance and she has a certain appearance that although this is the same actress so yeah 
anyway. <laughs> yeah, questions as, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to take a look at, uh, so was there anything else in this one I want to, the before bruise. I go on? <laughs> I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. I... <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this clip. Um, yeah, there wasn't really anything I want to. This was nine that night. I went round and she was waiting for me. She was furious and so angry, the kind of anger you could only have towards yourself. We screamed at each other, argued, cried, we fought. I hit her back, left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing. She tore it off. Eventually we grew tired of fighting and I left. Really? I know she's talked to it a wig a few times. This was nine that night. Nine. I went round and she was waiting for me. She was furious and so angry kind of anger you can only have towards yourself. We screamed at each other, okay. argued, cried, we fought. I hit her back, left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing and she tore it off. Eventually we grew tired of fighting and I left. Okay, so the bruise was not from Simon hitting Hannah as she had mentioned a few times um, in one of these clips where Eve was describing her story or what had happened they got into a fight and he hit her and then she slashed his throat open she only wanted to scare him but she ended up yeah slashing his throat and when she started off with uh, this was nine, nine, nine p.m. Most likely, I was I like, what, nine years was old? Waiting but for no. me. She was furious and so angry, the kind of anger you could only have towards yourself. Waiting for me. I went around. And she, she was, was waiting furious for Furious and so angry, the kind of anger you could only have towards yourself. We screamed at each other, argued, cried, we fought. I hit her back left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing and she tore it off. Eventually we grew tired of fighting and I left. Okay. I know wig has come up a few times. I have that to session because of reasons. And seven terms here. She's we haven't seen these three here or this one and that fills in a little bit more details things are starting to come together I'm starting to get a much more full picture even though the story is coming together in bits and pieces all over the place it would be interesting to actually have the start to finish of the story of course but uh, not quite possible to have this start to finish unless I actually cobble from each of the videos that I've done so far on this game and actually cut out just the pieces for the story itself and then I can go back and watch the entire thing that might be interesting <laughs> anyway let's go on to this six second clip a wig you mean a what type of wig a wig a wig? You mean... A what type of wig? They were probably asking her... About... Um... When we'd done the search for hair... Or hairs... Uh, 
Um, they had brought up that they had found some blonde hairs. And uh, in one of the previous clips, she had talked about, you know, there was dolls up in the attic. Maybe that the hairs came from there. So this is probably part of the same conversation where they asked about a wig. A wig? A wig. You, you mean... mean... What type of wig? What? <laughs> How many types of wigs are there? <laughs> Nothing I can really draw from that. So let's take a look at this four second clip, which came almost immediately after. No, I've never worn a wig. What kind of wig? <laughs> no, I've not worn a wig. So somewhere they either found evidence and they have it in evidence, Eve's wig, probably relating to the body. Um, yeah, about that. Let's take a look at this. Those are that details there. And this 10 second clip. This other person doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Have you looked at the cat flap? <laughs> uh, let's take a look at it again. This other person doesn't exist. Person doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Have you looked at the cat flap? She's very persistent about the cat flap. Yeah, this is connecting the pieces with the hairs. This the hairs came from the wig. Doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Have you looked at the cat this flap? other person does not exist. Most likely at this point, the detectives still don't suspect that Hannah and Eve are the same person. Was it... I wish I could go back and find the specific clip. This is uh, where she's wearing that. You know what? Before I continue, I need to know when she was wearing the, uh, yeah, the lie detector. So it was on the 3rd of July that she's wearing. Yes, my name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so she took the line detector test on the, the 3rd of July. And most likely at this point, there obviously she lied about her name because her name's not actually Hannah. So we're gonna take a return back to Wig. So it's within this last interview, and it's probably the longest of the interviews, where probably is the bulk of this uh, interview they have probably finally caught on that indeed Eve and Hannah are twins they are two separate people and they especially in this clip are starting to hammer them on these details and it was most likely at that point that uh, yeah Hannah took off Eve stayed to uh, take the fall anyway let's take a look at this 26 second clip she was sat behind him. She had my wig on. And she'd been there all day. And she had blood on her. And she was in shock. Really? She was sat behind him. She was sat behind him. She had my wig on. Simon's mostly dead. And she'd been there all day. So he's been dead for most of the day? And she had blood on her. And she was in shock. 
yeah, she did have... She had Eve's wig. Because she tried to pretend she was Eve rather than Hannah. And she's wearing the wig when they got talking. Simon had revealed the second mirror and gave her... Well, it was supposed to be for Eve. But gave the mirror, and of course that's when the mirror broke. And, uh... Hannah had slashed Simon's throat. Most likely she left the body where it fell. And she sat down behind uh, Simon and was there for most of the day. She was sat behind him. She was sat behind him. She had my wig on. Yep, so that makes sense. Of course, the wig has blood on it. Something they had to dispose of. She had blood on her. And she was in shock. And most likely the wig came up because there's probably strands of the hair found on the body. And when it was analyzed, they indicated that it most likely came from a wig, which is where the line of questioning regarding the wig came up. And, uh, yeah, that's most likely when the story started to fall apart. Well, about that. So that was for the term wig, which was not part of my normal search terms. <laughs> um, but, uh, have we done a search for seller? You know what? I'm going to do a search for seller. <laughs> And Seller has come up four times, which we have seen. Next on the list is going to be, you know what, Cheat. Has been only one time. Cheated. There we go. We got two times. Two clips that we have not seen. Uh, Oxford, Secret, Cheated, Devoted. Simon had never cheated, I think it was. All right, let's take a look at this clip here. Six seconds. No, I have never been unfaithful. I've never cheated on Simon. Never been unfaithful. Let's put that in there. I'm going to add this session because of reasons. But I'm going to take a look at this five second clip. Have I ever cheated on Simon? You asked that question yesterday. <laughs> yep. Probably at that point, uh, they're trying to draw out to see if she would trip up. But I'm going to do a search for unfaithful. The only time that she said it. You know what? I'm going to remove un from it. No terms, okay. Or no entries found. That is fine. Devoted! Only one time she says devoted. Argument. We have nine entries for argument. And we've seen some of them. We haven't seen this one, this one, this one, or that one. That is four of them. So we've seen five of the nine. So we're going to take a look at this 12 second clip of argument. No. I think he spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about her argument, but I'm not sure what else he said. He likes Helen. He likes guns. Who is Helen? I think this is a new term. I think this is a new name. Blonde. Let's add it to session. No. I think he spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about her argument, but I'm not sure what else he said. He likes Helen. He likes guns. Helen. No, that, that name has not come up. All right, about that. Definitely want to take a look at that term then. 
let's take a look at this 12 second clip although I'm going to watch this one more one more time I think he spoke to Helen she said he was upset about her argument but I'm not sure what else he said he likes Helen yeah. upset about their argument this was obviously from the first interview oh, got a few more details filled in things are coming together so let's take a look at this clip here no I mean yes we have arguments but he never runs off he always comes back we make up it's always that way <laughs> no I mean yes we have arguments but he never runs off never runs he always off. comes back we make up it's always that way Okay, I couldn't really think of anything in particular other than very generic terms. So we are going to move on to this seven second clip. Yes, he left after the argument. It was about eight o'clock. He left. Yes. After the argument. He left after the argument. It was, it was about eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. So they had an argument, obviously, and then he took off, and that's probably when he had been claimed to have disappeared. There were a few clips in the past where she asked, you know, maybe he went to the Rock, which is one of their local bars, if they've gone there, questioned people, stuff like that. They hadn't seen him. So this is relationship two, of course, when he took off. But of course, uh, the truth is, uh, yeah, the truth. Let's take a look at this. Is there yes. any, anything else in this one? He left after the argument. It was about. No, argument would have been the only term. Yeah, I guess. I'm quite a private person and I didn't want to get into the detail of the argument. Really? Yeah, I guess. I'm quite a private person and I didn't want to get into the detail of the argument. Private detail? All right, about that. That was the last of the argument clips. What else do I have on the list? Well, at this point, it'll have to wait till next time. As always, <laughs> this is a series that will never end until, of course, the database is complete. We are filling in more of the details, as we can see. And... Oh yes, indeed. It's coming together quite nicely. We're probably about, I don't know, 70% maybe of the way to the end of the database. So, yeah, about that. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Her Story. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day. Mm -hmm.